Hi guys, how you guys doing? I am back to share another journal with you all. And this is a journal I just finished using a DG kit from the Screech Hours Owl Studio on Etsy. I love it. It's so pretty this collection. Um when I purchased it, I just wanted to play with it, so I did a little uh, I just put a little journal together just so that I can get my hands on it. It's just a quick little project. And the paper kit is called Dreaming of Yesteryear. And this is what it looks like. And it is a soft cover journal uh, using the craft text. No, I didn't use the craft text on this one. I used a very light uh, chipboard on it. And I backed it with uh, cardstock front and back, so it's very sturdy because the the cover I printed on cardstock um, for the inside and back. I put some metal uh, metal corners on the journal. Let me see if I could lift this up a little bit on the journal front and back and this is the back cover it's very pretty that's my stamp and then the spine is uh, probably about three quarter of an inch and then I just put some lace that I wrapped around it you can't see the stitching it's a hidden uh, stitch I sewn in two signatures and then I ran some pearls I have this really pretty tassel. You can easily remove it, remove it because I have a laps, lobster claw clasp here that you can easily remove it if you don't want the tassel. And that is the front. Look at that pretty image. And it is a fabric. I covered the entire cover of the book with fabric. And then I sewed it. And then I placed the photo, you know, the paper on top. But if you look closely, the fabric, I sewed it in white so it's not prominent. And then I just sewed the image with black to give it the look. I have a seam, uh, not seam binding, it's a sheer ribbon closure that wraps around the book in the inside of the cover. And it is a chunky monkey, um, but it's still very comfortably writable. So the inside looks like this. And it has a sewn pocket with this pretty uh, lace. It's like an eyelet, eyel what is it called? Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> and I put here a library card can write your name or whatever have you and look at the image it has lines as well and there you have that image and I printed the images of uh, the paper collection on coffee dyed paper because I didn't want to have the white paper at in the back so even in the back of the paper is coffee dyed. And then I have, I don't have lace on this one, on the edges, but I do have every so often the pom-pom trim that just goes, you know, like a file folder would. I use pom-pom as tabs. So let's just flip. Have a belly band there. And flip it. Look at how pretty cardboard style with the bike. And this is uh, papers. This is a uh, downloadable that I've had in my computer, so I just thought it would go good, and I just printed it. I have some lace here that I just put there at the edge. So some of these I've had on in my stash, and I just thought it would go good with the collection. But that is part, this one is part of her, her kit. 
So 90, 97% of these papers are hers. I just had like the postcards, some of the postcards that I thought, I thought would look good. And then this is vellum uh, paper ribbons that I had, so I just threw them there. This is hers, and this is some eyelash trim that just un undoes like that. And you just open it, and I just put a little uh, lined paper there, and you can just close it back with that. Oh, let me put that back in there. There we go. This is an envelope. And I just put lace and that I I that trim at the bottom and the envelope has a pocket and did I put something in it? Yeah, I just put some stationery in there, but it's covered in lace and the trim. This is a children's story poem book vintage that I have. I just put a page there. This is a flip up, not, not a flip up, a flip out. And I just put a button that I had, vintage button. So my tracing paper and more of that, her, her uh, digi kit. This is part of her digi kit. And look at how pretty. Pure and healthy soaps. That's part of her digi kit as well. This is a little envelope that I had in my computer. So I just included it here. And it has a magnet. It doesn't have anything in it. You can add your own little piece of paper in there. But it has a magnet. And I just attached it there with a little paper clip that has some trim look at that paper and I don't know if you can see it but it does has very fainted lines look at how pretty it has like very faint flowers that adorn the edges of the page another flip out so I'll put the page count on my Etsy. This is another other side of the envelope with more stationery and lace trim. This is a tuck spot back here. You can put something there. I have graph paper that has been coffee dyed. Little heart from her collection here. More of that trim. Down. Look at how pretty and soft and muted this is. The camera isn't going to do this paper collection justice, but it's so pretty. I have another one of her cut aparts, and I put some lace at the edge with this little corner pocket. More coffee dyed paper, another little heart at the corner. Look at how pretty. And these have lines. More vellum ribbon here. Another corner pocket. Look how pretty. That beautiful lady there. Lots of writing space, lots. Another flip out. More children's vintage poem book. This is part of her collection as well, and I just made a side tuck. Just goes right in there. Another postcard. Just goes in there. Some more lace. Another heart with another um, 
vellum paper, uh, ribbon and a little button and that just flips out for more journaling. This is a tag that I just added some fibers and put that beautiful lady there. And look at how pretty. I love this collection. And I didn't even use all of the papers. Uh, the collection is so beautiful. I didn't use, I only used like half of the, uh, the collection because I just wanted to do a small little project. Look at, look at how pretty that is, that lady. She's very faint. This will be perfect, like shab, this is like very shabby, chic kind of thing. And then in the back, you have this other one, other pocket with some trim, more. Uh, and that just gets tucked in there. And that is the back of it, the beautiful tassel. And this will be listed on my Etsy. And I hope you guys like it. And again, um, this paper collection is from the Screech Owl Studio on Etsy. And the collection is called Dreaming of Yesteryear. Beautiful collection. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And welcome to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you subscribing and supporting my channel. Thank you so much. And all right, this is all for now. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.